this is your typical Didymo mat. More than 10 years ago, fish biologists noticed large algae mats taking over the Kootenai River below Libby Dam. Didymo Sphenia geminata, we call it Didymo, was very apparent. It took over uh, many portions of the river, the, the bottom, the substrate, and immediately we had concerns of the impact, whether or not it was impacting the trout population in the Kootenai River. At the same time, there were reports of Didymo becoming a nuisance around the world. And biologists soon learned Didymo blooms could alter the bug structure of a river. It's not so much impacting trout themselves, but basically their food source. Today, researchers are looking to see if Didymo outbreaks are impacting trout populations, and also looking at the cause of Didymo growth. Didymo is actually a native species to Montana and Idaho, and what we found was that Didymo, most of the time, it occurs in its natural state. So the nuisance mats are kind of a new thing, and that's what we're most concerned about, is what changed to force this well-behaving diatom into these gelatinous mats that cover the entire river bottom. One Didymo outbreak theory is due to a nutrient imbalance in the water. So for the first time in Montana, researchers are artificially adding nutrients to a river. And so we think that by manipulating the nutrients in the water, we can kind of understand why this species is going to this phase more commonly. These studies will conclude next year, and researchers hope to learn more about Didymo impacts and possibly find a way to control them. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.